Meanwhile, a coalition of civil societies known as the Osho Masterminds have called on the president of Nigeria, Ashwaju Bola Tinubu, to review the nation's minimum wage and payment of backlog of salaries. Old Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, to cushion effects of fuel subsidy removal. Addressing journalist during its uh, June edition of State of the State Address held in Oshobo, the state capital, the executive director of the group, Professor Wasiu Oyedo Kuali, lamented that fuel subsidy removal has skyrocketed prices of commodities as well as transportation systems, saying this requires urgent intervention before it drops off on the good intentions of the federal government. The city has been used over the years by corrupt public office holders to embezzle our commonwealth and consequently keep the nation on its knees. The bold move shows that President Tinubu is willing and ready to take the difficult decisions for the growth and development of our country and our people. However, the removal has, as expected, come with attendant difficulties. Prices of commodities are skyrocketing Transportation costs are now going over the roof, making life difficult for low-income earners. These difficulties, if not properly managed, may rubbish the good intentions behind the removal of fuel subsidy and make government lose goodwill. The issue of student loan is something that makes education work in other places. But just like it is said of this first subsidy removal, there are quite a number of things that needed to be done before it is done. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.